I clawed my way out of Willamette. I fought hard to uncover the truth of what happened at that mall. Things were good. Real good. For a while. Then, I let things get to me. I let things get out of control. I think deep down, I knew I hadn't uncovered what was really going on. dark, but this is my chance to get back in the game. Excuse me, sir. What is it, kid? I signed your waiver. You got my next of kin. Are the vultures circling already? Yeah, sorry, sir. It's just paperwork. They want it from everyone. Would you mind if I got your autograph? Uh... Sure. Sorry about that, it's just, uh, it's been a while. You've always been a big hero of mine, Mr. West. I was really bummed when your show went off the air. Wow, thanks. So I guess this would be worth quite a bit if anything happened to you out there tonight. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Good luck out there. Maybe this wasn't such a bad idea after all. to earn cash. Bigger the death, bigger the payoff. Especially if you use those corner grinders. And I do like a good grinding. <laughs> but first, TK has got a personal message just for you, Frank West. You gotta be willing to risk it all if you're ever really gonna
to earn him some real cash! Frank West. This must be so embarrassing for you. Doesn't look like those baldness remedies work too well. But we just get started, people! The cottage is just beginning! So right now, let me hear you! Make some noise! Veterinarians are looking into the problem and are examining the diets on different farms. This seems to have only compounded the problems which have been linked to the beef shortage in local areas. The zombie rights group Cure is in the news again. The protest group has shown up in the adult playground of Fortune City, which was chosen as the site of the latest installment of the pay-per-view game show, Terror is Reality. The protest just compounds the problems of the game show, which has been plagued recently by tumbling ratings and controversy. Cure was on the site of the show to display their opposition to what they call the unethical treatment of zombies. Stacey Forsythe, the leader of the Nevada branch of Cure, had this to say. Let our government know we will not stand for their systematic neglect of the infected. We must take drastic action now. Public opinion is mixed on the group's views, which are sometimes seen as radical. This is a joke, right? Why would you want to save those things? Stay tuned. Coming up right after the break, we've got weather and sports. I can't believe I just did that. I feel like such a sellout. Hey, do you know how I can get the hell out of here? Yeah, take the elevator up a floor and then straight down the hallway. You can't miss it. Check me out! You're sure this is gonna help, right? Seriously, you worry way too much. It's bad for your health. You gotta keep this under your hat, man. You just gotta chill out a little, okay? Oh, sure, Mr. King. This is cool, though. I never thought I'd get to do something so important. It, it's really kind of awesome. What the hell are you up to, TK? Every 
revive. Now you be very careful with this package, okay? I still don't understand exactly your part, you know? Little man, you got to trust that TK got some very good reason. Just a bit nervous, you know? I It's more about the principle of the thing for me, you know? Hey, consider it a token of my appreciation, brother. Oh, sure, Mr. King. I gotta tell you that it's people like you. That's suspicious. That I admire the most. Little people rising up to the challenge. You're doing the right thing. Absolutely, Mr. King. I gotta get back to my show. Well, well, well. Looky here, Frank West. Hey, fanboys. You're a little late for the autographs. I was uh, just looking for the men's room. Story of my life. Nah, I think we showed up right in the nick of time. I think you've overstayed your welcome a bit, Frankie. Call me if you're up for a photo shoot. Your performance was a little limp tonight, Frank. You must have to take pills for that at your age. Well, good night, ladies.
like it. down without a sound and I, I had to get out of there. I just ran. Frank. Frank West. Oh, you're the big shot from Willamette. Yeah, yeah. I seen you on TV. They don't take this the wrong way. But ain't you infected? Hey, don't worry. It's under control. Oh, yeah? You better have three days worth, pal. Because you seem real nice. And I'd hate to have to put a bullet in your head. Uh, thanks. We ain't got any Zombrex here. Military have to quarantine first. They'll enter the city at first light three days from now to get all of us. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? Better to be stuck in here, not out there, don't you think? Infected, though I don't remember you saying anything about that in your book. Well, it's not exactly something I'd go around advertising. There's a pharmacy in the Royal Flesh Mall. I'm Stacy Forsyth, by the way. I'm Frank. Frank. Frank West. Plenty of people know you. Do you know a way out of here? No, but if you find one, I suggest you take this. That way we can keep in touch. 
There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only, but I'll keep an eye on them. And Frank, if you find anyone alive out there. <laughs> sure. I've got uh, a little experience rounding up survivors. hero. Keep Frank West bottled up. Back in the game. Nobody ever thinks of the vents. brochure for Fortune City. Right now you're in the Royal Flush Plaza. Roy's Mart is on the other side of the mall. Don't 
goodbye. Hey, don't you have something better to do? Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Just looking for some meds. No need to get ugly. Well, you're definitely gonna need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? Move! Sure. 
Snowflake hungry. Look what I found you, pretty girl. Shit. Fresh meat. <laughs> Hey, uh, there are lots of zombies around here. Maybe she could eat those. No! No, not zombies! That mirror's rotten! It's like all her food now! It went bad! She needs meat. Fresh meat! Sure, sure. I can get some fresh meat. Steak! Maybe I'll go look for some. Very good to me. Not like Snowflake. Snowflake, my friend. Whoa, listen, let's talk this over, okay? What's your name? Theodore. But everyone call me Ted. Ted, huh? That's a nice name. We just need to slow down and talk this over, Ted. Nice and slow. No! Ted, not slow! They all said that! Ted, not slow! Stop saying that! See, people not nice.
Frank, they're starting to report the outbreak on the news. It's playing on the TV here. You should come back and watch this. Hey, any leads? There's a guy playing the slots in the Americana Casino. He just keeps going and going. Maybe you should check. received a broadcast from our field reporter, Rebecca Chang, who is inside Fortune City. It is clear that the outbreak started in the Fortune City arena during last night's Terror is Reality show. Information received from a behind-the-scenes source reveals that this outbreak was not an accident, but rather an act of terrorism. Oh, Rebecca. Look at you. Not the weather girl arena, anymore. The site of the Terror is Reality game show. It may be upsetting to some viewers.
Security cameras, lady. What the hell were you thinking? Your group's got a reputation, but come on. Cure had nothing to do with this. It's pretty easy to say that, isn't it? But you're gonna need more than that. You better start talking. Right now. I'm telling you, we're being set up. We've been accused of things before, but we don't believe in violence. We're someone's convenient excuse. Oh, really? It's not the first time members of Cure have been falsely accused of being involved with an outbreak. I've got to find whoever leaked that tape. That damn TK and his horrible show. I'm not saying I believe you, but something's not right here, that's for damn sure. I needed something to get back in the game. I investigate this, and maybe I get back to doing what I do best. That reporter, where is she? She said she was in the hotel. I know this could end up being a big chance for your career. But don't forget, this could mean my life. 